Hi, this is Mark G0MGX. I wanted to um, do a quick video on this Fieldtech 6600 uh, waveform generator. Mine came from Amazon. Um, it's uh, up to 60 megahertz, two channels, arbitrary waveforms, many built in waveforms. Um, quite a few reviews on YouTube, but I'm seeing quite a few issues with mine, so I thought I'd document some of them. Uh, with a view to seeing if anybody else can reproduce this because it might be that I've got some sticky relays or something in mine but uh, let me just take you through it and, and we'll see what we think so this is the power on state of mine both channels are at 10 kilohertz the amplitude is listed on the unit as 2 volts which the manual tells me is peak to peak in 250 ohms um, and there's simply two um, 50 ohm coax cables coming down to my scope both channels are terminated uh, in 50 ohms the peak to peak values are actually 1.032 volts on both channels and the phase difference is zero so it's kind of doing what we expect it to do and there's a power switch on the back which will bring me back to this power on state which I can't remember whether is actually as it came from the factory whether I've saved something different and then there's a soft save here soft power switch here um, which will should always take you back to the previous setting but as I've just demonstrated when I switch it off and switch it back on again channel 2 has failed to start there's no signal now on channel 2 now if I go to the channel 2 settings and I click on amplitude and I increase the amplitude and then decrease it back again you can now see that I've now got a signal on channel 2 um, we do that again power it off power it back on again channel 2 has failed to start again amplitude up down brings it back again power it off power it back on again and it exactly pretty consistent this is I've also found that it seems to be almost more consistent if I increase the frequency so what I've done now is change both frequencies to be 10 megahertz um, which we can measure if we want to so the frequency is saying 10 megahertz phase difference is well it's flickering around a bit but it's zero peak to peak voltage 1.04 or thereabouts switch it off switch it back on again again channel 2 failed to start so amplitude up back down and it switched on again the other thing I wanted to do was fiddle around with the waveforms uh, CMOS uh, square wave sine wave So it doesn't seem to make much difference the sequence of events I'm trying to see if there's any consistency in this so if we leave that on as a square wave switch it off switch it back on again again channel 2 has failed to start amplitude up back down and there the signals back again so let's just reset it for a second so we'll power it off and power it back on again so we should be back at my 10 kilohertz setting now but interestingly, and as I find quite consistently, what I've got on channel 2 now is actually a negative voltage. So if I pull the plug out of channel 2, you can see that that's gone away. So there's a negative voltage on here. Um, and that negative voltage will actually be retained on soft power off. So I switch it off, and that negative voltage is still there. So I pull the plug out, put it back in, you can see there's a negative voltage stuck on that line. Switch it back on again. Let's just try and restart channel 2 amplitude up and down. So it now appears that I've got some weird DC offset now on channel 2. So my um, channel 2 voltage has got that negative DC on it permanently. But the waveform is now uh, imposed on top of that. Again, if we switch off, switch back on again, that's stuck. So I've got a negative DC offset here of some sort. failed to start again amplitude up down change the waveform perhaps let's change the frequency as well let's go back to my 10 megahertz that I had earlier channel 1 10 megahertz it's all to the scope 
channel 2, let's go back to a sine wave switch it off switch it back on again it's just stuck isn't it power off power back on again Again, I, I can't get channel 2 to start now, or get rid of that, uh, get rid of that DC offset. Um, maybe I need to face north, stick a chicken down my trousers or something, I, I, I just don't know. The other thing I've found, and I can't reproduce it now, I kind of hoped it would have happened by now, is that the phase goes out of bonk, and um, we find that the... Uh, we find that the phase can change sometimes. But if you notice now, though, these are both set at two volts amplitudes. My scope hasn't changed. The settings are the same. But now my channel one amplitude is significantly higher than my channel two amplitude, even though they're set the same. We could even press the sync button, wave frequency amplitude offset duty. But yet they're absolutely not the same down here. Um, the other thing that I've noticed is if I go to channel one amplitude, drop it back down to 0.5 volts. Now the difference now between uh, 0.5 and 0.6 is massive. I've still got them synced somehow. I don't know how I've done that because I thought I'd sync, switch that off. Okay, let's switch these back off again. Channel 1 amplitude 0.5 to 0.6 volts is massive and anything underneath 0.5 volts, so that's 0.432. Oh, it's working again now. Well, hopefully you saw that it was getting, oh here we go, it's doing it again, so that's 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.432, 0 so you can hear a relay going clunk as well, so I wonder if there's a sticky relay in there somewhere, so that's 0 0.6, that's 0 0.5, that's 0 0.6, that's 0 0.5, so there's something a bit wacky going on in here. Who knows? Still got that DC offset. One thing I'd like to point out as well, anyone who's seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit, if you listen to the relays, they go tick, 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 and of course you have to go 